Namaste everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you one of my favorite inversions, Viparita Karni, which is a very, very restorative and rejuvenating pose for the body and for the mind. But what is great about it is that it is very accessible and easy because it does not require much strength or flexibility. Now, our Manipura Chakra, or the Solar Plexus Energy Center, is linked to our willpower, that inner strength of power that gets us to do things. Now, it is not uncommon nowadays for us to push over the edge to get things done, and that excess fire can lead us to feel burnt out. This inversion helps or allows this energy center to rest, to recover and rejuvenate and instead send prana or energy into the higher chakras or the higher energy centers, which are the more subtle energy centers that tend to get neglected when we get caught up into the flurries of life. Now, this inversion also helps to switch on the parasympathetic nervous system by stimulating the vagus nerve. This is a nerve that kind of communicates to the brain to stop the stress or fight response in the body and instead promotes relaxation through the body. So it is a very, very good posture to um, uh, practice in the evenings because it helps to promote sleep, improve sleep, but it also relieves uh, tension in the legs, uh, in the feet, in the ankles after a long day at work or after long hours standing. Now, this must be performed on an empty stomach and ladies who are pregnant or menstruating must not practice any kind of inversions. If uh, you're suffering from any heart conditions, blood pressure um, or any eye disorders as well, such as glaucoma, please visit a doctor before starting any new yoga or pranayama practice. Great, so we're going to get started. I'm going to show you two or three variations of Vipareta Karni. So the first one I will show is without using any props. And of course, as you can see here, I have a few props that I will show you after this. Now, some people find it difficult to get into the posture. Just a little tip, you're going to come towards the wall sideways and wiggle yourself to bring your sitting bones close to the wall and then make your way onto the mat. Then you can wiggle yourself a little closer, take your time, and maybe your sitting bones will come flush with the wall. And then you're just putting your feet up, and that is it. This is Viparita Karni. Now, I have br brought my sitting bones very close to the wall. If you feel that that brings a little strain in the backs of the legs and the hamstrings, then you just want to keep some distance between the wall and your sitting bones. You don't want to feel any strain in the hamstrings. And you can stay here for five to 10 minutes. And what you want to focus on while you're here is to completely relax your body. Allow your breath to flow freely in and out through the nose and just stay present with the sensations that you feel in the body. Now to come out of this posture, we're going to bring the knees toward the chest and just roll over to the side and lift ourselves up. Now let me show you the second variation. I'm going to use a couple of folded blankets and I'm going to place them on my mat. Now what this is going to do is that it is going to help to elevate the heart compared to the, the head. So I'm going to place my head on the mat and the rest of my body on top of the blanket. Now you can, if you want, place a cushion under your hips if you don't have a longer uh, blanket. Now once again, I'm coming close to the wall and bringing my legs up. Here, as you can see, my heart is more elevated than my head and this just helps to enhance the benefits of the pose. And this really feels amazing. This is my favorite variation. I like to elevate my heart just a tad bit. And as you can see, my hips here are not very close to the wall. So that's all right. Good. And now I'm going to show you the last variation. So I'm just going to come out of it very quickly and I'll keep the blankets away and just use that cushion or a pillow if you don't have a cushion or a bolster could do as well. Now I'll, I'll just use a cushion under my hips 
and come into Viparita Karni. Now, if you have a bolster that is a bit heavier or a pillow that's a bit heavier, you can place that uh, just on top of your feet. I don't have a bolster, so I'm just showing it to you with a block. This block is a little heavier than the foam blocks. So what this does is that little weight on top of um, our feet just helps us to feel more grounded through the legs and through the sitting bones. Now, I never practice it this way, but this is also an option. So you can explore and see which one feels the best for you. And after you practice this, you'll really feel that release of tension in the legs as well as in the back. Great, so that was the third variation. I'm just going to come out of it and uh, that is it uh, like I said I like to practice this about five to ten minutes I like to practice it even before going to bed because it does help and uh, help to fall asleep a little quicker because it calms the nervous system and allows the body and the mind to restore and rest I hope that this was useful and interesting. Please try it out. Uh, do leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Please do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of such videos. Thank you for watching. Namaste.